First at 4 o'clock, we have breaking news with an arrest after police say a woman plows into a traffic cop and then takes off. Good to have you with us today. I'm Thomas Roberts. And I'm Sean Gables. We first told you about the search for this accused hit and run driver at noon today. And police have just announced in the last half hour the woman who did it. She's now in custody. We want to show you those surveillance video. It shows the moment that it happened and you can see other drivers reacting after the suspect knocks down the officer and then keeps going. CBS 46's Megan Packer joins us live on Powers Ferry Road where all of this happened. And Megan, what are you learning about the arrest? Well, really right now, that's all we know is that a woman is under arrest. This is breaking as we speak. Sandy Springs police are still working to get me that woman's name and the charges she's facing. This is where it happened just uh, before eight o'clock this morning in front of this condo complex. You can see the orange paint on the street where investigators were out here conducting that investigation. That is where this woman is said to have plowed into the officer and just kept on going. Now we've got the video that Sandy Springs police did release to us today. You see the people who are in their cars waiting to pull out at this condo complex jump out of their cars stunned. They run up to help the officer. One witness tells me the driver seemed to have just plowed right into the officer and keep going. He told me that the officer flew up into the air. The red Toyota Corolla just kept on going. The car was caught on several different cameras, so police have spent the day looking for that driver. And again, they were able to track her down. We are still waiting to learn that driver's identity. The officer, I'm happy to report, is out of the hospital, home, doing okay. He did have to get some stitches, but uh, he's just recovering at this point. And by the sounds of it, talking to witnesses out here, they said it could have been a lot worse. Now, I spoke with one of the men you see in that surveillance video, one of the men who jumped out of his car to run up to help. You'll hear from him at five and six, along with what this condo complex is now doing and how they're pulling together to help this officer who's out here every morning helping them. I'm reporting live in Sandy Springs, Megan Packer, CBS 46 News. He is very fortunate. Thank